What's the difference between want, needs, and godly needs? Let's talk about that. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah. I have said to <clears throat> smile. I do not mean in a creepy, weird way. Oh. <laughs> Just sit there and smile and drink your sit coffee. Sit there and smile. It's not coffee. You don't have to be it's tea. all crazy. It's tea. Anyway. Just, can I see a smile, please? No, a regular <laughs> smile. Oh, no, fine. No! <laughs> Okay, so want, needs, and godly needs. Three different things. So, Kay, define want. If I said I want something. I want my coffee. Yeah, but, and I need my coffee, actually. No, that's not the, it's not the same. So, that's what I say. If you want something, then you don't really need it. But, it's but a you want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a desire to have it. And go ahead and say it. You don't really need it. You don't really need it, but you so gonna. you could do without this. That's what a want is. You can do without it. See, that, that's why coffee is not turned into a want, but it's turned into a need. Because I cannot do yeah, without it. That's called a desire or a <laughs> it's called an addiction. An addiction. <laughs> anyway, so w- want. Oh, hello, Hughes. Melissa Hughes. Anyway, oh, hi. Um, so want. It's something you don't really have to have, but you want it. <laughs> you cannot use you cannot <laughs> use, use the, the word. word in the definition. Needs are such as like you need coffee. Uh, no, you need um, you know water, clothing, food, coffee, your lungs. Coffee. You need a heart. No, I'm not going to say coffee. That is a want and an addiction. <laughs> okay, those are needs. These are physical needs that you need to have. Like, I need my glasses. You don't necessarily need a house. Everybody's like, no, it's a basic need. Eh, not really. Um, oh, you're going to get some flack on that. Oh, I know. You want shelter. a house. You need, you need some kind of shelter, but you don't need a house. Well, then we, you're going to move out into a tent in the woods? We could. You just need to be not with the, the weather. So those are really, and, you know, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Those are needs, okay? Now, godly needs is totally different than wants and and regular needs. Totally different. Godly needs are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and self-control. Those are the needs that we need to have. Because if we don't need, if we don't have those, if we don't have those godly needs, then we can't show the light of Christ in the right direction. Okay, uh, you know, hatred and anger and pride and jealousy, those don't work. Okay, Though we don't need those, we don't even want those. Hopefully, you don't want those. So, when we look at um, these scriptures where it says He will meet all of our needs or He will give us the desires of our heart, we are not talking about physical things. We're not talking about you need the biggest house, the biggest car, the most money. And you have, you're going to be healthy for the rest of your life. That does not work in the New Testament. That does not work in Jesus. Because Jesus was poor. He was traveling all the time. He was not really rich. Um, and he sacrificed himself and he had pain. And he took away people's hurt. But he hurt inside. I mean, he, he cried for his people. He mourned for what, was, what his people were doing. Um, Plus, he's more concerned about your spiritual. Right. Than so, the New physical. Testament is all about spiritual. Now, I'm not saying don't pray about physical. God says pray about anything. But it's interesting that we always have so much on the physical in our prayer request and not much on our spiritual, mm-hmm. which New Testament is this way. There should be a lot of spiritual and, and um, not much physical. So, when we go to Philippians chapter 4, 19, that's the context of this, that he's talking about godly needs, not needs as in house, clothing, Food, water, lungs, heart, coffee. Coffee. Um, He's talking about godly needs. So here we go. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. See, we always say, well, uh, and my God will meet all your needs. That's where people stop. And they're thinking physical needs. They're thinking, oh, he's going to provide all my needs. Yeah, right. But then if you go on, it says according to the riches of his glory has nothing to do with the physical has everything to do with the spiritual 
in Christ Jesus. So if we're not with Christ Jesus, God doesn't necessarily give us what we need spiritually in his glory because we have to have Christ Jesus before we get the needs. You see so what I'm you saying? need Jesus. Ah, you need Jesus. There's your need. If you don't have Jesus, the rest of the stuff doesn't make sense. So my challenge is for you, what spiritual needs is God providing for you? That's my challenge. Answer that question. What spiritual needs is God giving you through Christ Jesus? And thank him for it. I love you, Jesus. Love you too. Have a good Friday. Saturday, you know, five minutes for Frankie. Sunday morning, 11 o'clock. It's going to be live and in person. Um, so come. We're praying for 100 people by the end of December of this year. 100 people. If we just, everybody invited one we person. Got 45. We would get 90 people. If everybody just invited one person, we'd get 90 people. So come uh, live or you can watch it on Facebook. Either way, we love you. Jesus and loves any, you. And any teens come tomorrow, Saturday yes. we at have 10 o'clock. We have an event at 10 o'clock a.m. at the church building for teens, 6th through 12th grade. Come and be amazed by my cooking abilities for breakfast. Oh, Lord. Help All right. Us. Love you. Bye. I went a minute over because we did um, advertisements. Sure I did, but that's okay.